This video is about Jumifer template. I had already created a new folder on my desktop, which is the root folder for this exercise. Inside this folder, I have three subfolders, CSS, images, and resources. I'm in Jumifer. Before I can create any Jumifer template, I have to create a site first. So I'm going to site new site I'll say DW template exercise but you can say anything you want make sure you save it in your wood folder so I'm going to click browse go back to my desktop click my Jumiver template and select the folder and then save before we do anything i have to export the site so i go back to site manage site so dw template exercise is selected this is the export button click export make sure that you go back to your root folder so I go to a desktop look for my dw template save and done in the file panel you see there's a STE extension file so this is my site to create a new file I'm going to right click on the name of the site select new file and name it working the reason I'm going to use a working.html file because I want to mess around with the HTML before I can save it as a template. So double click inside, to open it up. So right away, I will rename the title to DW template exercise. What I'm going to do is a very simple setup. I have my cursor e inside my code view press the enter key I'm going to click the diff in, in the insert diff panel I'm going to use the ID type the wrapper now you can use any name you want wrapper is the outside container of my website so everything will go to inside this wrapper I click OK so what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this. I don't need this anymore. This is just a placeholder. Inside the wrapper, the first one I will click is a header. So I click OK. Underneath the header, I will have a section. So this is the section. I click OK. Underneath the section, I will have the footer. For most websites, the content inside the header and also the content inside the footer will remain the same throughout the site. Only the content inside the section will be changed from page to page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the section as an editable section. So I have the section selected. Make sure you select it the opening section tag and the closing section tag okay and then go to insert template editable region just say don't show it to me again okay so I'm going to name this section OK, I'm going to give myself more space so you can see it. To save this as a template, go to File. Do not use any of the save. You have to use Save as Template. Click Save as Template. Give a name, I'll say DW 
10 page this is size and save update link yes always say yes right away in your file panel you see there's a new folder called template click the arrow and then you see the dw template exercise dot dwt so dwt stands for dream weaver template so this template is done you see there's template dwt exercise To style all the HTML elements inside the template, we need an external CSS. We cannot use internal CSS. To create an external CSS, it's very easy. Go to File, New. In the middle column, click CSS, Create. Now we have a new file called Untitled 2 and the CSS document. So I usually type DW template exercise. Now this is my own working habit. So when I open up any CSS file, I know what this CSS file is for. And then go to file, save. Now make sure that you are in your DW template root folder and then I'm going to click the CSS file in the file name I'll say dw underscore template underscore CSS so the name is dw underscore template underscore CSS dot CSS now you can name it anything you want but make sure the extension is CSS and save so this is called template exercise is saved so I can close it so I'm back to my HTML file how can I link the CSS file which I just created to this document now go back to your file panel first click the arrow now you see there's a DW template CSS.CSS there are several ways to attach a CSS file to HTML file. Go to File, Attach Style Sheet. If your Attach Style Sheet is dimmed, make sure your cursor is inside your code view or even inside the design view so your page is activated. And go to File, Attach Style Sheets. And then do not type, just go to Browse. Go to my DW template with folder. Double click inside CSS folder. Now I see my CSS file. Select it, just click OK. Make sure it's linked, not import. Take a look at your path first. So I have a CSS, DW template, CSS, CSS. Click OK. In the code view, you see a new line of code which is this one it's called link perf css relative style sheet type text css since we are using html5 you can skip this one just delete it it will still work just like that so your file is attached to the CSS file. So I'm going to save it. Make sure it's saved. Now this time I'm going to close it. Just click this close. I'm going to open up my DW template exercise template file. So double click. In the upper left hand corner you see the source code which is the HTML file. And then you see the CSS, which is your CSS file. This means your HTML file is attached to your CSS file. That is how you create a Dreamweaver template.